Did you know that the average person takes around 17,000 to 30,000 breaths per day? It's truly remarkable how our lungs work tirelessly to keep us alive and well. In our busy lives, it's easy to forget about our lungs. Pollution in the air and sitting too much can affect how well they work. That's why it's smart to do some simple things to keep our lungs strong. In today's video, let's learn about some of the essential tips for stronger lungs and better breathing. Whether you want to be more active, handle breathing challenges, or just feel better every day, these tips will help. Let's begin. Number 1. Freshen up your surroundings. We usually don't notice, but we often have some hidden stuff in the atmosphere inside our homes, like dust, pet fur, mold bits, and sometimes chemicals from cleaners, insect killing sprays, and furniture paints. These things can make our breathing harder and can even cause lung problems in the long run. But here's the good news. Air purifiers can help. They can catch up to 99.97% of these super small particles. They make sure that the air we breathe at home is super clean and healthy. Now bring in a touch of nature with indoor plants. They're not just for looks. Plants like spider plants, snake plants, and English ivy also help clean the air. They soak up various kinds of harmful chemicals and particles in the air and give you fresh air back. When it's time to clean up, try using natural alternatives instead of strong chemicals. Some natural oils like tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, and lemon oil can fight germs. You can mix them up to make your own cleaning mix. How cool is that? Lastly, open the windows in the morning and let the fresh air come in. That's good for ventilation. And especially when you're cooking or taking hot showers. They help keep mold and other harmful things from taking over. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Keep yourself hydrated. Taking a sip of water might seem simple, but it's actually very important for your lung health. Staying hydrated does more than just quench your thirst. It helps to moisturize the inside lining of your respiratory tract. This moisturized lining catches unwanted things like dust, and other tiny particles, germs, and pesky viruses, and prevents them from entering your lungs. But when you are dehydrated, it cannot just cause irritation in your throat and respiratory tract, but also make it easier for the harmful stuff in the air to reach your lungs. Remember, hydration isn't the same for everyone. Some people need more, some need less. As a good starting point, aim for around 8 glasses of water each day. Also eat watery foods like cucumbers, watermelon, and oranges. And have you ever tried herbal teas? They are not just hydrating, but also contain many beneficial compounds that can be really good for your respiratory health. Some examples are thyme tea, oregano tea, peppermint tea, and eucalyptus tea. Number 3. Practice breathing exercises. Engaging in breathing exercises can really help your lungs. These exercises optimize lung function allowing for better oxygen intake and efficient expulsion of toxins. Breathing exercises can be done anywhere and at any time, even while relaxing in a comfortable chair. Establishing a routine with these exercises enhances lung function and reduces feelings of breathlessness. One effective exercise is pursed lip breathing. To do that, sit in a comfortable chair or on the floor with your back straight. Then inhale through your nose for a count of two. It should be a slow and controlled breath. Then purse your lips and exhale through pursed lips, as if you're blowing out a candle for a count of four. Make the exhale twice as long as the inhale. Continue this cycle of inhaling for two counts and exhaling for four counts. You can adjust the counts based on your comfort and lung capacity. The key is to ensure that the exhale is longer than the inhale. As you do that, concentrate on your breath and try to relax. Pursed lip breathing helps to release trapped air in your lungs and improves oxygen exchange. Another beneficial exercise is diaphragmatic breathing. You can do diaphragmatic breathing while sitting or lying down. Just make sure you're comfortable and your back is straight. Then place one hand on your chest and the other on your belly. This helps you to be more aware of your breathing. Then breathe in through your nose, letting the air fill your lungs. As you inhale, focus on expanding your abdomen not your chest. You should feel your lower hand rise, and your chest should remain relatively still. Then breathe out through your mouth, pushing out the air from your lungs. 
As you exhale, gently contract your abdominal muscles to help expel the air. Continue this pattern of deep diaphragmatic breaths for a few minutes. Focus on the rise and fall of your lower hand as you breathe. These exercises can be beneficial for various situations, such as managing stress and anxiety, improving lung function or enhancing athletic performance. Practice them regularly to build better breathing habits and reap the benefits of controlled and efficient breathing. Number 4. Avoid Pollutants In today's world, our lungs are exposed to a number of harmful elements, ranging from air pollutants and smoke to dust and noxious chemicals. It's as if your lungs are consistently engaged in a battle against toxins and germs that can cause long-term complications. So to avoid this, whenever such an environment has to be encountered, consider wearing an N95 mask or even a more advanced respiratory protection. This precaution becomes particularly important during peak pollution periods. Use fewer artificial air fresheners and cleaning products with lots of chemicals. Also, consider getting air purifiers to keep the air inside your home clean and fresh. When you go outside, keep an eye out for a report that shows the air quality index, which is a measure of how clean the air is in your area. If the report says the air quality is really bad, then avoid going into that place, or at least use a mask for protection. Number 5. Regular Exercise Regular exercise is a great way to keep your lungs and heart healthy. This helps your lungs take in more oxygen and makes their breathing muscles stronger. Activities like brisk walking, running, biking, dancing, or swimming give your lungs a good workout. This helps them work better and more efficiently. Adding more to it, strength training can also help your lungs. When you focus on exercises that make your core muscles stronger, it keeps your chest in good shape and makes breathing feel easier. Start exercising at an easy pace and gradually increase the intensity. This way you can avoid any unexpected problems or injuries. Number 6. Healthy Eating Ever heard this old saying? You are what you eat. This also stands true for your lungs. What you eat affects your lung health too. Fruits and vegetables like carrots, bell peppers, oranges, strawberries, and broccoli contain many antioxidants like vitamin E, beta-carotene, and vitamin C. These compounds provide protection against free radicals. These free radicals can badly affect your lung cells and make chronic lung issues go worse. Moreover, there are omega-3 fatty acids in fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel, as well as in flax seeds and walnuts. They are responsible for providing help against inflammation in your lungs. Moreover, if you are a little into foods like onions, ginger, and garlic, they can help clear up mucus in your lungs and throat. Lastly, avoid processed foods and also the ones with high content of sodium and unhealthy fats. They can stir up inflammation and create all sorts of chaos for your lung health, so maybe give those a bit of a pass. Number 7. Quit Smoking Cigarette smoke introduces harmful chemicals and toxins into the lungs, causing inflammation, damaging cells, and impairing your body's natural filtration system. This in turn reduces your lungs' capacity to process oxygen. Plus, it increases your risk of developing several respiratory infections like empyema, bronchitis, and lung cancer. But when you quit smoking, experts say that within 12 hours of quitting, carbon monoxide levels decrease, allowing more oxygen to reach your lungs. Carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas in cigarette smoke, binds to red blood cells, limiting their ability to transport oxygen. So when you stop smoking, carbon monoxide levels start decreasing rapidly restoring oxygen transport. Days after quitting, your lungs begin to recover, leading to improved lung function and vitality. Without continuous exposure to cigarette smoke, lung tissues gradually start to heal. Cilia, which are tiny hair-like structures in the airways, regain function, clearing mucus and foreign particles more effectively. Number 8. Regular Checkups Checkups are important in monitoring and maintaining healthy lungs, they help identify early issues, preventing them from evolving into serious conditions like COPD and asthma. There is a test known as the spirometry test, with which lung function can be measured. It assesses how much air can be blown out and how quickly. It also provides important information about lung capacity and efficiency. Moreover, chest X-rays or CT scans are imaging techniques that serve as vigilant tools, detecting any abnormalities or signs of concern within the lungs. 
So if you want to have stronger lungs and breathe better, then try to follow all of these essential tips that I've shown you in today's video. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.